to another episode of After School Kids Lab. Every Wednesday, we post a video of us doing something fun. It could be a craft, it could be a skill, it could be a game or a science experiment. This week, we are doing what I'm calling Indoor Olympics. Since we can't enjoy the real Olympics on TV and it's not exactly the best weather to be playing outside, this is a great opportunity for us to do some fun games inside. Some of you might be familiar with Minute to Win It games. We have picked out many of those games to make our own indoor Olympics. If you ever search online, there are a lot of Minute to Win It games to choose from, but these are some of our favorites. We hope that you enjoy playing them. What's great about our indoor Winter Olympics is that the supplies you need are likely things you have at home. So you don't have to leave the house to prepare for these games. And even if you don't have exactly what we used, you can probably find different items that will work. Or you may even invent a new game using different objects. Our first game for Indoor Winter Olympics is probably one of my favorites because it is just so funny to watch. We have dubbed this the Shiver and Shake. You can probably see why. The supplies you will need for the Shiver and Shake are an empty tissue box, string, and ping pong balls. First, you will poke two holes in the bottom of the tissue box using a pen or pencil. As always, have an adult's permission and supervision for all After School Kids Lab activities, and it's always okay to ask for help. After you poke the holes, cut a string long enough to be tied around your waist. Thread the string through the holes, and then you're ready to secure the box around the player's waist with the box resting on the player's back. Then you place the ping pong balls in the tissue box and start a timer to see how long it takes the player to shake and jump all the ping pong balls out of the tissue box. The fastest player wins. Our next game also involves ping pong balls. We call this game the ping pong ski jump. First, you will need to fashion a ramp. We used a shoe box and an extra piece of cardboard with some duct tape to hold it in place. Then we placed a bin next to the ramp. The goal is to get the ping pong ball into the bin by rolling it on the ramp. The player can't throw the ball, which makes this a bit tricky. The way we played it, each player has 10 turns to roll the ping pong ball. The player who got the most ping pong balls in the bin won. Our next game is called the Snowball Shift, but we aren't using real snowballs indoors. For this game, you will need cotton balls for snowballs, as well as two containers and two straws or sticks. The goal of this game is to get the most cotton balls from one container to another in a certain amount of time. We did five minutes for each player. The catch is that you can't use your hands, only the straws, to pick up the cotton balls. This can be more difficult than it looks. For the next game, you only need a balloon and a ruler. We call this one Balloon Blizzard Bounce. The goal is to keep the balloon from touching the floor or objects on the floor for as long as possible. However, you can only touch the balloon with the ruler. This is a simple game that kept us entertained for a long time. The last game, you only need a hand towel for each participant. It's called the Bobsled Scoot. Each player must scoot on the towel from the start line to the finish line, which we both marked with masking tape. It's a race, so obviously the first one to the finish line wins. This game is both good for some indoor exercise as well as cleaning your floors. After we completed our indoor Winter Olympic Games, we decided to have a closing ceremony. You can choose to tally up who won the most games and award gold, silver, and bronze, or just celebrate the fun you've had in this entertaining way. We made medals out of yogurt lids and ribbon, and I happen to have some fake flowers in the house we could use as celebratory bouquets. Now it's time for me to ask you some questions. After all, this is After School Kids, or Ask Lab. Do you have any other indoor games you like to play? There are actually a lot of variations of the games we played you may have heard of as well. Can you think of ways to alter these games to make them more difficult? For example, you could add obstacles to the bobsled scoot. So, how did your indoor Olympics go? Did you find some things a bit too challenging? That's okay. Everything takes some time to learn. 
and the fun is found in accomplishing more difficult tasks. Last of all, did you discover any technique that made you better at any of the games? For the snowball shift, my biggest helper crisscrossed his straws kind of like chopsticks, which he found made picking up the cotton balls easier. Let us know the answers to all of these questions and more by adding a comment, photo, or video on our Facebook page below this post. We would love to hear from all of our After School Kids Lab viewers. We hope you enjoyed playing our version of Indoor Olympics. Next week, we are going to be doing pom-pom painting. Until then, bye!